We just wanted to shine. Now we up on our grind. Couldn't go out to parties, a nigga ain't had a time. We just wanted some money. Now we get in the hoes. Screaming that gang, gang. Get in a party with my bro. It's gang, 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 gang. I do it with my woes. Could it you to shine? And we out here on our grind. Couldn't go out to parties. Too busy chasing them down. Now that I'm getting paper, I can flex some naughty haters. What's going on, you guys? This your boy, that kid Polo. If you're new to the channel, please like, share, and subscribe, and join the game. As you can tell by the title of the thumbnail, yes, this has a care. We are finally back in North Carolina after a long week and plus a long day coming back, y'all. I must say, it's, it's, this has been one of those trips where this one go down in history, you know. I hope y'all enjoyed the other content that I've been putting out, y'all. I know some of it is muted because of the copyright uh, situation, you know. It is what it is at this point, y'all. But, um, but yeah, your boy has came back home. Some things has to carry on the way coming back home. And I'm going to show y'all what happened. Um, but before I get to that part and telling y'all and showing y'all what happened, um, can... Y'all tell me what y'all thought about the Disney experience. If y'all never been before, like just tell me what y'all thought about it and things like that. Um, you know, it was pretty cool. Y'all, I think we went at the wrong time of the year, y'all. It was so hot, so exhausting. It's like, it's like I was at the point where I just wanted to waste the money. Like I was like, man, let's turn around. Then the second day, or what, what, the third day, you might as well say the third day, because the first day we attempted to go somewhere. It was too hot, y'all. It was, like, it turned miserable. We were getting ill. So, the third day, y'all, because I ain't even recorded. I recorded some the first day, but I kept cutting it off because it wasn't like we were doing anything or seeing, really seeing anything. But I might drop some clips of that in this video. You know, just some last minute clips but nonetheless y'all i'm not gonna drag this out too long y'all i know you see by the title and the thumbnail yes we had got into an accident coming back it was like four hours three hours and a half four hours from home we got an accident the uh tire blew out um caused you know the car to go out of control and things like that and then luckily a car came up beside us and we hit the side of it because if we didn't hit the side of that car we probably would have flipped you know we probably would flip or we probably would have just end up going towards the side rail or whatnot but luckily no one was hurt and things like that really like nobody went like like hurt where you know you had to be hospitalized and things like that but yeah your boy did tour a tendons or a ligament in my knee yeah that's about it y'all but i'm gonna go show you the damage from that tire y'all what ah. oh yeah the adjuster and everything that came out of here y'all yesterday y'all your boy struggling going down these steps but i'm gonna show you what the tire did no i'm gonna show you what happened when we hit the side of the other car first so this what happened you see how the hood shift or whatnot that's what happened when we hit the side of the car Oh, I'm surprised it did like this, like the hood shifted more this way because I thought maybe the hood would shift that way. But I see it shift. But this what this what everything caused. Look, tire did all this, that, that, not the end of the wheel out, bent the frame. Cracked the frame, bent the the body, and all that. 
But me thinking like, oh yeah, and plus, it brought the light too. Like me thinking like, dang, like that one little tire did all that. Oh yeah, and that the tire under there, y'all. Hope y'all can see that tire. It was a good ass tire, but I don't know how in the hell that shit blew out. Like all the tires looked the same. We checked everything. Did just to uh, rule this as a total loss. So now we in the market of looking for another vehicle for my wife. Um, things like that. So yeah, we highly blessed that we didn't flip. We highly blessed that nobody really got seriously hurt. My wife said her back hurt and I went out, you know. And she had blanked out a little bit from the impact. It was like a split second. But um, but yeah, that's what happened there. Everything bent up in there. And it's like stuff in the front components messed up bad too, where it was sliding at an angle. Um But um just sliding at an angle and um probably broke something in the front because it was like on the way home after we changed the tire it just started riding really weird so it took us instead of usually take us seven and a half hours it took us about nine hours to get home where we had to drive extra slow to get in the slow lane but like I said we blessed to you know still be here still talk about it um you know, all this stuff is just materialistic stuff. This stuff can be replaced, but lives can't. Um, but, yeah, we highly blessed and things like that because we could have been going faster than what we was going. We, we wasn't even doing the speed limit or whatnot. But, but yeah, we blessed, y'all. So, um, let me go ahead and get myself together, y'all. Because, yeah, as y'all see, your boy do got a lot. Do I got to cut grass, y'all. Wash that car up and clean it up, y'all. And um, yeah, y'all see how beautiful it is today in North Carolina. Clear skies. And I got I got press wash the house too. I got a lot of stuff I got to do hurt up. Um, y'all probably get this this video on Fourth of July. So happy Fourth of July to everybody. Comment below what you did for the Fourth. Um, or what, or what you're doing for the fourth because I probably post this like an afternoon video like I always do my videos. Um, give you something to watch during the day. Um, but yeah, your boy gonna be right back. I'm gonna let you know what else we do in the day and what occurred. I'm gonna get big mama experience and what she thought about it because I know she in there getting ready, getting the kids ready. So I'm gonna be right back. Hours later. A few minutes later. A little longer than a few minutes later. Then, y'all, I am back. I am back. I'm back. We have a guest with us in this episode. K for key. K for key, y'all. What girl? <laughs> y'all. So she gonna explain to you, y'all, what happened that day. What you remember? I know it being what about a week, two week, week, two week. Well, it's not the time frame for me to remember because I remember it like yesterday. It's just the part where I think I kind of blanked out a minute, to be honest, where I was so nervous because I don't even remember. I don't even remember seeing us hit the black part at all, to be honest. I don't. But you ready for me to start? Mm -hmm. Okay. Wait, you, I mean, you think that I'm running some minutes up. Okay. Yeah. So... Basically, we was coming back home from Disney. If y'all watched the other videos, which I should have, y'all see that we were in Florida. And we went to Disney World and we stayed for a week. Everything was going good. Fine. Happy. Everybody having a good time. And then, was it Friday? You too much yeah. yeah. Yeah, Friday. So, Friday, y'all. Well, technically, yeah. Still Friday, yeah. Friday, I started feeling very, very bad. Like, this is when the bad stuff started happening. So, Friday, I felt real, real bad. Like, I had body aches. I was, like, so cold. My body was just, like, going through the changes. And I told 
my husband, I said, I feel bad. I said, I feel sick. And so we laid down. It was like maybe two, three o'clock in the morning. My body aches got worse and I couldn't sleep. So I suffered through that night. No, it had to be Thursday. Because we went to the hospital Friday. Yeah, Thursday. Yeah. So that happened Thursday night with the body aches and stuff. And then Friday morning I woke up and... Well, it was technically Friday because it was 1, 2 o'clock in the morning, but still. So, Friday morning, I got up, and he was like, well, let's go to the hospital. Let's go to the hospital. So, I was like, okay, so I could barely move. Like, I got up, put my clothes on, brushed my teeth, and then I... Y'all, she was literally like a blow-up doll. Yeah. <laughs> but that's after. You got to wait. So, I was like, so just... I could not move. So I told my husband, I was like, well, put some lotion on my legs because I had on shorts because it was hot in Florida, of course. I said, lotion my legs and we'll go. So he he put some lotion on. We left. He found the nearest hospital. I don't know where we was, where we went. I don't know nothing because I went to sleep in the car. That's all I could do is sleep. So we got to the hospital. Fast forward. They did test. Everything came back. I found out I had strip. Got it from... This one, yes, I did. Yeah. Yes, I did. Because he's a, no, he was the only one. You gave it to Peyton too, so mm -hmm. it don't matter. It still Peyton came from you, anyways. So I had a strip, and we went back. And all that day, all I could do is lay in the bed. I couldn't do nothing. So, like he said, I was a blow up dog. I don't know how I was a blow up dog, but yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> he said I was a blow up dog. So he had to watch the kids, of course. And, you know, he made sure everything was good and I got plenty of rest because I slept from the time I got back all the way up to the next day and I couldn't eat or nothing. And then Saturday, it was bad. I knew it was bad again because my brother got sick and they come upstairs and they told us that we had to get their kids because they had to rush him to the hospital. So I was like, what in the world? Like this trip just turned upside down. Like, and we getting ready to go home Sunday and everything happened that weekend. So anyway, he was okay. Thank thank God he was he was fine. They didn't find nothing too major. He was fine. Yeah. <laughs> they call him loose ass. But anyway, so yeah, he was fine. Like I said, thank the Lord for that. Everybody was okay. So then it was just like we got on the road, got breakfast, ate, and mind y'all. So yeah. So I just knew, you know, like when we got sick, I just felt that bad vibe. Like, you know, I was just ready to go home at that point. Really, when I got sick, I was ready to go home. Um, I don't know. I just feel better when I'm home. So, we got on the road. We got breakfast. Everybody was situated. You know, they went to sleep, finally. The kids did. No, except for Peyton. I don't think Peyton ever went to sleep. Everybody got comfortable anyways, and, you know, they went to sleep. So, I'm driving down the road, you know, just vibing. And then my brother, he was, you know, he was vibing. He always vibing. He drive too fast for me. But anyway, we were just vibing, you know. And <laughs> next thing you know, we hear a big old boom. Like somebody just, I don't know, maybe stuck a knife or something. I mean, the noise was just loud. Like it was real loud. Like I still hear the noise. So vehicle started, you know, turning sideways, going out of control. I tried to control it the best I could, but we had a blowout. It was a blow a blowout with a tire on the right passenger back tire blew out. So I was trying to control it as much as I could, you know, reduce my speed because I wasn't even going to speed limit. The speed limit was like 70 and we were doing probably like 65 at the most because I had braked a little bit to wait on my brother to catch up because he had took the wrong exit, which thank the Lord he did. And so, couldn't gain control of the vehicle. It's like the steering wheel locked up. Brakes weren't really working on the vehicle. Which they, you know, they worked. But I guess it was such impact that everything just felt like it just stopped. And then, so we were in the far right lane. But I got over and the car went into the middle lane. And then, of course, the car was still sliding. So, we went over in the left lane. Next thing you know, boom. So, we hit a car. But, like I said, and I, I'm glad the people in the other car is okay. But I feel like, you know, that was put in place for me to hit that vehicle. Because if I wanted to hit that vehicle, I don't think we would have stopped. We would have probably hit the guardrail. We could have flipped. Anything could have happened. But we, we hit, and his car did take a hit, too. And his wife got cut up by the glass because it did bust their passenger window out. Glass came flying in my car. 
and it was it was just everything came shifting forward like all our stuff it looked like a tornado hit through the car everything it was it was just bad but yeah y'all and like i said i remember some of it but i feel like i did kind of do like a blackout where i was so scared because I ain't never really been in an accident accident. I, we've been in an accident once, but that was because we got hit in the back. But a blowout on the tire, like this accident ain't nothing compared to getting hit in the back. So, you know, police came, we put the spare tire on. They tried to charge me over $1,000 just to tow my truck back home. My husband said, no, we're not doing that. So he was down there sweating hard. He was changing the tire. He got the spare tire on for me. But I was still scared to drive because I ain't know what I was messed up. It was a very bumpy ride home. We had like, what, over 300 miles to go? Yeah, yeah we yeah, had like, over 300 miles to go. About four hours. Yeah, we still had like five hours to get home. So we we could only do... Yeah, excuse her. She, don't, she ain't good math. It was five hours, ain't it? No, four. Well, it was like four and a half because even, even Gene was saying we Gene had... Gene don't not do math either. Anyways, y'all, whatever. I know it was over 300 miles because my first 100 miles, the total truck was free, but then it was like $5 per mile. And we still had, like I said, almost 300 miles to go. So, thank the Lord we got home safe. We did. It took us some time. My brother said he ain't like riding behind me because I was driving too slow. But he stayed behind me. He stuck with us, y'all. He did. He stuck with us. And we brought it on in. And they told him my vehicle, y'all. They came pick my baby up yesterday. She gone. I might ride in Wilmington just to go see her. He hear that video. Oh, come on. In the auction. Yeah, I so said we can have my ride of women to go see her. Oh, I might call and just say I left something in there so I can go. Let's see her one more time. I watched all the way to the end of the road. I watched the way he turned. And I was just saying, just be careful with my baby, but you can't do no more damage than it's already done. Yeah, it's total. That was hard to get my car, y'all. And keep it. Yeah. So, the gang want to know what's next. I don't know, y'all. It's hard. Like, really, I, I've i been looking, but I ain't been looking. But what I've been looking for is what I want. Like, and it's hard because I'm picky. And he'll be looking up cars and he'll say, well, look at this one, babe. And I just be like, mm-mm. It'd be nice. Good. It'd be nice. Mm -mm. Well, you can get the same car. Yeah, I yeah, can she, go back she, with the same car. She been looking at the same, the exact same mm -hmm. one. Then she looking at another one that's the exact same inside, but a different making model. Yeah. Look, just the light, just the outside different. Yeah, I been yeah looking at the same ones because I don't see nothing else that I really like. I did always say I would go back to a Ford Explorer, but I don't know. I don't know y'all. But y'all stay tuned. Something coming. Y'all know KFK ain't gonna be down for too long. I'm looking. And I'm taking my time on it. Because like I said, this time I ain't want to get in like a crazy deal or something that I'm complaining about. Because my car payments was high on that Tahoe, but hey, that's what I wanted. And they say you pay for what you want. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm riding Toot Toot right now, y'all. So catch me in traffic with Toot Toot. <laughs> I'm going to go on my damn car. Catch me in traffic with Toot Toot, y'all. Hey. She gonna get new or I'm getting new too. Get me C8. See, that's the thing, y'all. See, he be going for cars that's like single family vibe. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe if you got one or two kids. We got a whole who club playing a four. And if he if he would have got a dad truck or dad SUV, then it would have been easy for me to find a car because I already can well I would even got like a little what is it? CUV? SU, uh, CUV? Or SV? No. Something like that? Why would I get an SUV or a CUV and we already have one? That don't make sense. Why well, had two gas guns? Well, now we don't. So now you can go get the dad car and I can get the cool mom car. Oh, you want two two? No, I want two two. Oh. They ain't me. Quit looking at TV. What's on TV? Nasty. <laughs> You, you turn it on. And it's going to be all in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all excuse him. He watching. <laughs> you watching that. She turned that on. Y'all look. What are you? His powers. 
He having a busy. Yeah, he having a busy. But yeah, I've been a little de I was, yeah, I've been a little depressed lately, y'all. Uh, just soaking it all in. And the first night, he said I was acting crazy in my sleep, looking all out the window. Yeah, laughing. <laughs> asking like I something off the exit. <laughs> it was bad because the, the scariest part was with the kids in there because it was, you know, they, I really didn't want them to get hurt. And then they were screaming, Mommy, Mommy, Mommy. And it's like, it wasn't nothing I could do, y'all. I tried everything in my power, but I couldn't do nothing at all. I think he watching the movie. <laughs> mm. So y'all, that concludes her part. I just want her to tell her side of the story. Anything you want to add to it? Nope. If you know a good prayer, send it up for me. Yeah. And hopefully y'all start seeing me on my channel. Yeah, I'm sorry y'all. I, I could have had some really good content. content, But I don't, just stay tuned. Y'all go over there. Y'all still show me some love. I'll probably be back. I'm going to come back. Y'all, make sure y'all watch this whole video, y'all. Watch the whole video because my watch time hours is going down. I think I'm like 2,000 watch time hours now. Yeah, because somebody today told me that they didn't they watched the video where they didn't see any animals in your video. Who said that? And I said, they was like, I probably didn't watch it to the end. I said, you didn't. I said, because I remember they recorded the safari ride. You your mama. I said Bay recorded the safari ride and he recorded the gorillas and stuff. I said, so you didn't watch the whole video? And she was like, no, it was too long. So y'all can't be trying to skip and y'all can't be, y'all can't just watch the first part and then don't want to watch the end because you never know what can happen at the end. Just watch it. Y'all watch TV for a long time. Watch the video for a long time. But I'm done, y'all. I'm about to get off of here. I'll talk to y'all later. If you haven't already, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Go to KP Key, like, share, and subscribe. If y'all find me something, y'all drop it in the comments. Let me know what I should get. I'm looking for bucket seats. It has to be leather. I prefer sunroof. I like a touchscreen radio. Don't necessarily have to be, but still, you know, up to date. And I like it to be a little roomy, you know, because I got four kids and they start in sports. So, yeah. Y'all know anything, y'all drop it down and I'll look at it. Because right now, I ain't hitting on nothing. But probably going back with another Tahoe or I'm getting the Yukon. The 2017 on up. But I'm done, y'all. Yeah, she done, y'all. All right. And we out. Peace.